Uh, what's up, Panthers? Welcome back to another Mumble Monday. It's Monday, March 13th. You'll be seeing this Monday, March 20th, because we are lying to you about everything. Yeah. Gus isn't real. <laughs> yeah, it's I actually... Yeah. They, they, He's AI. I live in the studio. <laughs> we, we engineered him to be the best possible anchor. Behind these curtains, studio apartment. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's generous. That is it's the Truman Show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just can't see it. We just they, gotta keep it. Yeah, we, we sign off, and I'm like, okay, bye guys. And then I'll leave me by. <laughs> every once in a while, I'm catching on. I get rations every week. Yeah. Not enough, but rations. Maybe one meal. For being on the show. <laughs> a yeah. can of SpaghettiOs. It's just one can. Um, event, eventful week, I would say, in Bonnie Lake. Last week, um, sports started to get started, and baseball had the first two games. Fast pitch had a jamboree. <laughs> Fast pitch went two and zero in that jamboree. Ooh, Baseball did the opposite. I went two. But they played some tough teams. They played some tough competition. They kept it close. They, uh, I think they played Tahoma, who, according to Mason Wright, was like top ten team in four A. Yeah. So they took a loss there. And Auburn, I know they really had good. like the best player in the state. Tahoma has like the best player in the state. So really, really. Yeah. 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 Soccer had a game on Saturday. Yep. Tell them about that. Big four O W. Uh, beat Grandview anyway. High School, so it was a good game. It was fun. It was good to see, like, you know, what the soccer team's about because there was a lot of doubt going into the season. So. A lot of a lot of haters. Yeah, a lot of haters. When's, Never the, when's the next game? A lot of non-believers. Uh, we won't talk about the next game because we play for a state champs, Bellarmine. So you'll beat them. Yeah, think. we might. So everyone show up tomorrow at uh. <laughs> tomorrow at uh, or Tuesday, so not tomorrow. But is that Bellman? Is not? It might be about Well, so yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're telling you this, and it's already a week too late. So oh yeah, y'all are too late anyway. We're lying. And you'll probably be here in the Bonnie Lake one. Yeah, you probably. Yeah. We'll we'll announce it now. Bonnie Lake beats Bellerman six to zero. Six to zero. Oh, <laughs> six to zero. You put a score on there. Ooh. Bonnie <laughs> Lake beats Bellerman <laughs> Pret. Four A state champs, six to now zero. Now, if you beat them two one, no one's gonna be impressed. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. look real lame. People are like, "Wow, that was actually pretty not even very." But good if you play. get it with right, their JV team, if you get it right. Everyone's gonna think you're just a genius. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna put your JV team in. Yeah, then they're, then they're gonna hunt him. Yeah, yeah. Um, Matt, Matthew, 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 you're a witch. Matthew, was or if we that. lose six to zero, <laughs> <laughs> then I can tell it's fifty percent. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. If we lose six zero, I was fifty percent right. That's true. So lose six zero. 50%. Win-win. Um, yeah, win, the win. Second, win, the second, win. The second they get one goal, West is like, all right, got to throw, guys. Yeah. All right, so the, ga- the game score is going to be whatever the game score is. All right. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I got a prediction. Safe shot. There will be a game played tomorrow. And Matthew, Matthew was saying their shit. JV team could probably smoke. I bet you the team from Washington is going to win. Wait, uh, what did you say? Matthew was saying their JV team could probably smoke you guys. Yeah, well, we were talking about how Bellarmine's JV team is probably a better fit for Bonnie Lake's varsity team because they're the four state champs. Like, I think that that's... Kind of reasonable. I can still promise you'd beat their JV team. Yeah, I, I the, think so. Uh, yeah, yeah I, good, good players don't go to a school where they can't make varsity. Yeah, that is true. That, that that's just generally how it works. Like, um, I uh, in football especially, a lot of kids end up transferring school for football the most because they'll be going to a school where there's like a quarterback that's just better than them. Yeah, and they can't play, so they'll transfer. That's Another true. thing, Bellman <laughs> lost a lot of seniors. And some of the you guys seniors. got that. You guys got oh, that. They got that. They got that. <laughs> this is Tech Tech before. <laughs> hey, they're coming back. You went for it though, which I appreciate. Bring Tech Tech back. Yeah. They need to come back. They, they are back. back. They're still relevant. They came. Yeah. With, they came. With this no, he's on the way it used to be. That's true. Just gonna, just gonna split it in half. I was just gonna launch it. Do it. Do it. Let's see it. Launch it. Launch it, launch it. into the camera. Launch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Bro, how durable are these things? What the heck? It's made of real wood. Yeah. This is like felt, dude. I remember um, yeah, it's, it's when a, I used to have tech decks, they're all like... He has a nice one. Yeah, it's a uh, sandpaper. Tape. That's sick. It's like grip tape like that, but that's foam. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, a swear about it. Yeah, tech deck connoisseur. I know a little bit about it. Spell connoisseur. <laughs> Bro, I, I want to try, actually. Uh, K, uh... <laughs> no, wrong. Good, good yeah, work, good yeah. work. Okay. It's like C-O-N-N. Nope. No, yeah. I was no, it's two ends. I think it's I S E U R. I think it's O S I U E R. This is see now if you got it wrong. See, I think it's two S. Wait, wait, let me let me spell it. Look it up. Look it up. Hey Siri, 
Let me spell it. Spell connoisseur. C O N N O S S I U E R. You really? Oh, we were all wrong. She was still. Spell connoisseur. Oh, Dang. Cameron, pull up a picture. Oh, I was close though. Yeah. You, I, I had the I S U R. You guys can't see this, but it's it's spelled C O N N O I S S E U R. This is the part where we make our technical director, Cameron, edit it in. Cameron, take a screenshot of that, please. Off Google. Uh, okay, guess what's our top? What, what we want to talk about? Yeah, so I, sorry, I've been trying to bring this up. Uh, oh. I've been I've been waiting to find out what my math test was. Uh, oh, keep in mind, I didn't really know what was going on in the unit until the like review time. Thirty unexcused absences, guys. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on there? What did you find out? Guys, have we even had thirty days in the semester? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I'm better than Gus. I have my score right here, so we'll see if I did better yeah, than we, Gus. What okay. audi- tell the audience oh, what class. Oh, this is for period. AP Calculus AB because we're not nerds who are at BC. Okay, let's see. Here. If my grade dropped at all, then we'll know it's not great. Oh, it's buffering. <laughs> so I, I heard. <laughs> a lot of loading. I heard someone got a one on that. I see all A's. The though. grade has not changed. It's got all A's, ladies and gentlemen. Went into quarter four without you. And ladies know. and gentlemen, we got ourselves a hundred percent. Oh, Gus, you want to know what? I got a hundred and two percent. Oh, loser! Boom. Well, okay. because that also means that everyone else got lower than us. <laughs> it's true. I heard someone got a 109. Okay. So wow. I think the curve was kind of steep this test. Yeah. How does that even happen? So he curves. What happened to 100%? What happened to my one? What happened to my one? Back in my day. Yeah. Like, he, uh, he, he's like, trust me, you guys don't want a curve. You want a scale. Like He, he always would tell us yeah, that. You don't want a curve, say, guys. Because a curve means that whoever gets the highest score gets 100. Yeah. And someone's always going to blow up the rest of the class out of the water. Oh, that's true. Given like these two guys. Like they're they're practically getting all the questions right. Um, I don't know what Matthew's um, work. But as scale, he'll just like go like six points below what one hundred percent is, and just mark that as one hundred percent. So if you get above that threshold, then you. So should remember go. that. Oh, that's true. Ask don't for, ever ask for a curve because then they're going to give you a bell curve. You ask for a, ask sick, for a scale. A scale. No. You can never trust bells. You can never trust bells. That's Unless they jingle. That's that's why the Liberty Bell is a crack in it. Like when the Santa comes. Jingle when, bells. when Santa comes, yeah. I can trust those bells. Santa. Yeah, um, guys, Santa Claus is real. Yeah. No, yeah. we were talking about this in front of some little kids the other day. No, you I'm weren't. Terrible Why would you do this? I don't know if we were you there. No, no, I we wasn't. There. no, we were. We were. We were, we were. No, I wasn't there. Yeah. Dude. No, we were like at. We were so eating somewhere. No, dude, I was not there. No, I, I promise. At the, at the... Santa is very real. He's a very jolly fellow. I've uh, sat in his. We always talking about the Easter Bunny. Easter, you guys are not talking about no, all my yeah, I swear, I swear, and you ruined these kids' childhoods. I can't believe this wasn't me, I wasn't there, (laughs) Andrew. Why you you do it? (laughs) Andrew, when we beat up that group of kids last week, no, I wasn't there. No, No, you were there. We we were talking about how Santa didn't see you read that day, man. You were there. Um, (laughs) oh, you just kind of blanked. Oh, you know who it was? It was me and Austin Grimmett. And yeah, at Chipotle. Yeah, that adds up. That adds so up. It wasn't, was it wasn't Andrew. Who else was there? I'm trying to give Andrew back. Yeah. Tyler was there. Matthew was there. Yeah, we were all talking about how Santa isn't real and there were some little kids running around. And we were like, oh, shoot. Speaking That's Austin, terrible. Well, good thing that they're wrong, too. Yeah, dude. Santa's real. Yeah. Yeah. How many times have you sat on his lap? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've done it like... <coughs> I do it not even around Christmas. I just cry just... like 10 times. I still do it. <laughs> Speaking of Austin Grimmett. Um, what else is there to talk about, guys? Don't read it out loud. <laughs> um, I don't know why I just had to do it. <laughs> Would you like a um, bite? Um, I've taken actually numerous bites of fake fruit for this yeah, channel. Don't, <laughs> don't, t- don't touch this fruit, guys. <laughs> I probably yeah. don't want to touch Wh- this Which fruit. one has a bite out of it? Um, I, got, I got some news in my life. If you Ooh. follow me on Instagram, big news. You will have seen that I spent my Saturday about two feet away from ex NFL player, current XFL star, Josh Gordon. I um, mean, he was shoulder to shoulder with him, and I was holding the parabolic microphone. And I was employed by ESPN for the day, which is really cool. How much do you get paid? Uh, 30 an hour for eight hours. Plus, That's pretty plus, good. Plus what? Oh, with free food. Dude. I'm telling you, if you ever get a job in this business, you'll be eating good because they just have like the stadium cooks cook for you. Same thing happened when I was at Safeco last summer. Like the stadium cooks just like, all right, we'll, we'll cook something together. So I got some amazing fried rice. Ooh. It was delicious. That's a pretty good money too. Um, it's great money. Uh, I was talking, there's this guy who actually, his soccer team beat Bonnie Lake to send Bonnie Lake home last year. He Edmonds. goes to Edmonds. Dang. And um, he's been doing this for a little bit now too. 
But um, he one time he was there for like an like an eighteen hour day or something. Ooh. It was like it was like a seven a.m. and then he and got that's up. like mandatory overtime. Yeah, exactly. And so he he ended up getting like eight hundred dollars off the shift or something. Ooh. Because he, cause he get time and a half or whatever. That's after how much I made. Double time. time. So speaking yeah. of that, I'll be happy to talk about my minimum wage job that has been working me more than we agreed. Um, oh, wow. So you love that. Yeah. So this week we, it's, it's a lot less exciting than working the job that I've been like gumming for. Well, why are we <laughs> putting Selena Gomez on the show? <laughs> what's going on here? Not sure. Um, um, okay. What's the news? Is it a topic? Anyways, well, they, well, we figured that out. So I got hired on to Applebee's and we agreed like 15 to 20 hours a week, right? Because school, all that jazz. Yeah, AP student right here. He's, AP, a, he's you know, a really good student. 4.0, um, I think. 3.98. Oh, AP uh, Chem. Uh, yeah, that really, really shot me. Um, but so then all of a sudden, I start like creeping up past 20. And then this week, I got to a little under 30 hours a week. And it's just a little bit more than I can really do. So I go. That's to, almost at the legal, like legal limit. Yeah, yeah I just, thought twenty was. Cause cause yeah, you're se- you're seventeen. Let's let, we don't need to worry about the logistics of it. <laughs> it's fine. So I, I asked my manager, like, see if we can get it changed or whatnot. But the schedule had already been put out for this this week, and it you know it was going to be the same week working you know about twenty six twenty eight hours. Uh, but then my manager was like, oh yeah, no, I I'm sorry, I, I didn't really I didn't. Yeah, really Gus, notice you that. can go to the labor department because. You're legally only allowed to work 20 hours a week. 28. Yeah, take no, him to 20, court, dude. 28. I thought it was 28. 20, 28. 28 with special variants. Oh, speaking of that, Gus never got the special variants in Orchard Dairy Queen. Gus and I talked about this all the time. He never yeah. signed the special variants, but Maria, our boss, just treated him like he did. 40 hours a week during yeah. the summer? Yeah. Well, actually, wait. Well, the, 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 that, the that's allowed. No, that's during, allowed. That's allowed. during, during yeah. the school year, though, he was still working. He was yeah. always getting like 20. For a non school week, you can work 48 hours. For a school week, you can only work 20. Okay. And okay. for a school week with, with special Guys, if you want to go to a job and get hours, you should go to Dairy Queen. Let me tell you something. Yeah, they'll work. Yeah. Those, I, actually, like, most high school places, I think, are very willing to work you past. McDonald's. Oh, um, weird, McDonald's weirdly doesn't. I know Wendy yeah. doesn't. Oh, we're getting a special message. A dismissal? Mission control. To the library. Last five minutes of class. Do you have a CTE interview? Get out of town. Uh, I'll tell no. you what, though. I've never seen a Dairy Queen not packed like at like 9 o'clock at night. Dairy Queen's always popping. Those blizzards are pretty good. I know. like oh, Especially yeah. at night. Like If you go during the day, like there's not that I don't know if I want to see night, how the... Like, their blizzards. I don't know if I want to see the health conditions back there. They're fine. No, that's good. It's fine. It's chilling. I would it's still good. eat... You would, you would still eat I would still eat everything that was at the Dairy Queen. Okay. It was, it's in good shape. What's the worst thing at Dairy Queen? The chi- okay, don't eat the chili from there. Don't eat the chili? Don't eat the chili. <coughs> I, I don't touch else the chili. The, where do you exactly. eat the chili out of yeah, the past? So it's nothing place. new. You never Pe- eat the People chili. get chili and cheese dogs weirdly off. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Um, I don't know why. Also, if you want to get overworked, um, I heard Sonic has like four employees. So you might... I see them. this. I go there maybe like once every three or four months same, it's the same girl it's there. same people and, and also so discontent the wait is always like 35 minutes and there's mm-hmm. no line yeah it's, it's, it's bad sonic I mean, is brutal they don't people don't want to learn how to ride roller skates um, they don't do that anymore no, they don't they, do that they get, yeah they gave up um, it's that. because no way no, what two people got injured yeah because that's how long it's been because since they been couldn't there. know how to ride roller skates so yeah. i was like it's been so anyway, long since I've been to a. Sonic. Where I was going with my story before we got off on a tangent. Uh, wow, so my my works. my manager is fantastic. Um, Besides breaking labor laws. No, like it, it, no, that's that. He's not the shift manager. Oh, okay, okay. He has access to it, but that's not his job. He's just like a great guy. He's great like guy. a great manager. Where like you don't do something because he said it. It's be, you're doing it for him. You, you know what I mean? Because you want like, to. Yeah, you're happy to like do what they're. It makes you feel you valued. Do. Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> so when I when I asked him about it. He's, Gus, get to the story, bro. <laughs> I heard an accept there, man. We keep going off on different okay, tangents. Okay. He's manipulating you, I promise. Wesley, if you want to talk about tangents last week, I don't want to hear it, but... Um, okay, fine. I'll wrap it up. He decides to give my coworker the double a double shift just to get me off of... Um, Ma- to get me off of one Major day. W. Yeah, nice so day. he didn't ask her. He just, like, threw a double on Okay, well... <laughs> I, like, I, I, I can't mean, decide whether he's a good guy or he just... So, W it. for you... But I, I, there was more context, but you know, the, uh, okay. I'm I'm ruining the story, so okay, okay. we'll we'll move on from it. Um, um, under under that light, though, I was gonna add more to my thing on Saturday. Yeah. Which is that um, so I, I'm standing there, right, second quarter, and and it's not like it's a lot of moving back and forth, but like mm-hmm. I'm pretty much just doing my job. No one's talking to me. I'm just doing my job, 
give him all the audio. I mean, you know what's up. You're good. And, and I kind of turn around just a little bit, and I'm like, gosh, that guy looks a lot like Mr. Nix. And I'm like, no, but it, it can't be. And I'd go back and forth and have like two minutes. Like, yes, no, it can't be. And I was like, just someone that looks like Mr. Nix. And I sat there for like 30 seconds, just content, doing my job, holding the mic. And then I was like, no one looks like Mr. Nix. <laughs> and he's got a beard like that. Yeah, I was like, I know this is Mr. Nix. He was wearing a little orange bucket hat because the sea dragons are orange. Oh, that's... And, and come halftime. Halftime's only 12 minutes in the XFL, by the way. I didn't Ooh, know that. So that's not a whole lot of time to go to the bathroom. Yeah. But before I did, I... He was like, I want to say like 15 rows up. So I got to the bottom of the section and I just stood there. I wasn't going to yell Mr. Nix. It's really loud in there, obviously. I didn't want to draw a bunch of attention to myself. But I just stood at the bottom of the place or the stands. And I was just looking, hoping that he'd look at me. And wait, within like 10 seconds, he just looks right at me. And he was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Which is a lot of fun. Mr. Nix um, is great. He's really great. Never yeah. never had him as a teacher. Had him as a sub once. Um, we watched a bunch of SNL. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. On, I mean, we had, well, we had, there was nothing. Mr. Mr. Nix and I were connecting that day. Yeah. But Mr. Nix, um, I wish I had him as a teacher. Great guy. Um, Amazing guy. Math, doesn't he? I don't yeah. probably would have met yeah. him than my I really like the teacher. way he did, because um, he gets a lot of like, the football kids that like are super loud and like don't pay attention to class. And the way he deals with them is like so well. Because he, I, he, he's what? the football coach? He's, a, he's one of the he's football, one of coaches. football coaches. Because um, still balls like the head coach. Yeah. But um, he, he played football here. He also got a five in the AP Calc exam. That's off topic. Nice. But um, like when a kid's like disrupting his class, instead of like being like super mad at them, he'll just like take them out and like ask them like what's going on. Yeah, he, know, he knows how to. He's a great guy. Great guy. So it was cool to see him. Even cooler though to see this one guy get arrested. Yeah, um, what? So, someone get arrested. I mean, what's cooler than that? There's this not much cooler. Last week, um, not last week, but the first home game of the season. This is the second home game of the XFL mm-hmm. season, the fourth game overall. Um, someone on, at Seattle ran out in the field, ran all the way across, got back in the stands, didn't get caught by security. Someone tried it again. Someone was someone was plastered, and they tried it again. <laughs> and and, it. and and I turn and so what I turn around to see at first is someone hanging over the guardrail upside down, everyone's holding their ankles. So I was like, oh, that poor man fell, and they're helping him up. <laughs> no, he's he, he, he was trying to get down. He was, like, he was just mindlessly trying to get in the field. And then, like, it took, like, I want to say, like, 10 to 20 security guards just rushing over there, and they're, like, holding them down. It took forever to get this guy arrested. Oh, my like, he, he was, And then on the way, he was just, like, screaming on the way out. And me and um, the running back for the Sea Dragons, his last name's, like, Ellison. He's number 25. Super funny guy. We were just like making fun of this guy, which is such a surreal experience because this guy's like six four, just like ripped, mm-hmm. and he's just like the most <coughs> jolly man I've ever met. I, I, fun of this something, guy. something like that happened when I went to a baseball game. It was a, it was a Mariners versus Astros. It was this Astros fan behind me. He was being very belligerent, definitely um, under the influence of some alcohol, and was yelling. And he's in, he's on like the Mariners side, and a bunch of dudes who were not security guards got up and picked him up and moved him out of the stadium. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to him after that. But um, definitely didn't get home. So that <laughs> right. sure. Nothing. Nothing compares. Um, to there him. was an ambulance outside the stadium when we were leaving. So I'm not sure if Into that us. was for him or. <laughs> but basically, him. don't drink at sports sporting <laughs> events because you might get beat up. Other things to talk about. Um, La- the Last of Us episode nine season finale came out last night. Although, well, a, a week ago when you're seeing this. Yeah, we'll um, save it from spoilers. Obviously, we won't say, we won't we'll spoil say anything. But um, um, show was phenomenal, really. Not as good as the game, but like I don't think you can. But that's like don't think that's like can. books. Like I mean, a lot of a lot of times yeah. the movie isn't as good as the book. Exactly. Not as good as the SpongeBob movie either, really. <laughs> I don't know about that. You really think about it? Yeah. <laughs> what? I just think Davy Jones. I don't know. It's probably a better concept for like sort of a, a villain than like the infected or whatever. Yeah, like a fungus. Yeah. Yeah, stupid mushrooms. Yeah. Um. Overall, great show. Davy um, Jones is like scary. What other games can have a show though? Uh, they did Doom with uh, Dwayne the Rock oh, Johnson. Terrible. That was horrible. That was bad. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. that one doesn't count. Um, Mario exactly. Bros. TV show, the like I'm old one from like no, there's there we're talking. I was talking to Simon Sly about this. There was a there was a TV show back at either late '90s, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Absolutely phenomenal show. Because yeah. ooh, what, the good one is The Witcher. The Witcher. Oh, that's a good Witcher show. Henry Cavill. Yeah. Yes. Is it good? Yeah. Yes. It's it's really good. Good. Henry Cavill. Play the games first. It's though, so dude. weird, dude. Henry Cavill was made to play like. Honestly, and I also think Superman. Like, for the Witcher, dude, he's literally just made to be like yeah. just the ultimate alpha male yeah. of anything. Like no. for the Witcher, though, I don't think you need to play the games first. Um, That's I think, a big time commitment to do. Well, you don't even need to play the games first for the Last of Us. It's just like yeah, better well, to do it. Yeah, yeah, I would it. rather play the well, games. Well, actually, first. from what I, from what I've been reading online, if you've played the games first, the show the like 
um, a lot of the end, like the end of the show, is a lot less impactful because you are, like you already know what's going on. They have the show pulled up on the teleprompters. You guys can't see it. Oh, that but show goes crazy. The Super the Mario, Mario Bros. Bros. Show, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Oh, I guess so one, I, I didn't watch it, but I guess one of the trailers was like an homage to that. Um, it was like a oh, for Mario movie. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the plumbing movie. commercial. Yeah, yeah, dude, they have yeah. they have the live actor for it. He does mm-hmm. like the little dance. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you can't see him. But there's a dude on there. Yes, that's we'll go to the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. The yeah. dude would start dancing, going like No, it's this. that's a that's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, come um, on, the Mario. I heard there's a Halo TV show. I never watched it. I heard it Ooh, wasn't I, great. I heard that was there terrible. were other good TV shows for SpongeBob. Games. I saw SpongeBob game. was not a game first. And yeah, they, have they have SpongeBob it on your games. iPhone. It's a, it's an it, Apple, it, it's it was, called Talking it was SpongeBob. Battle of Bikini yes, Bottom. Yes, what you know about that? Games exist for. Uh, uh, I think that Red Dead Redemption should get a show. That oh, should. dude, I I think would be the okay. that would be huge. Red Dead Redemption, those games are phenomenal. They're so long that I have, I think I have about twenty hours in Red Dead Redemption Two. Not enough. I need more. Yeah. But I am not even like a tenth of the way through the story. Is there a movie about Kratos? No, there's no. No, God War would be nice. Be good. There's a bad. Really? Dude. I think oh. they're gonna make a show. He's for probably it. got the best character oh. arc I've ever like experience or yeah. scene like it's insane oh there's there's, there's two raider movies boy um the first the first couple two raider movies with i don't remember who it was I don't remember her name. um not they're kind of cheesy and not very good but they're still enjoyable um if you want to watch a bad movie mm-hmm. then another one came out i think in like 2018 yeah and it was good that was based that was based off the, the reboot games and it was pr- it was a pretty good um i love the tomb raider games you know what uh, no uncharted really, also has one. Uncharted, oh yeah. that's yeah. you know what no one really thinks about is tron Oh yeah, I, that I was, like Tron a lot. That was I think that was like sure it's bad. But that was like, I think that was one of the first movies. I saw yeah, because they got the or the Tron reboot. They got the really old cool one, and then yeah. they got the new one, yeah. the Tron Legacy, which is oh. they're both like okay. But Sonic. I mean, Sonic movies. The Sonic movies. Are Sonic those movies are actually so good. really good. Um, Angry Birds movie. <laughs> it's fine. No. It's fine. I did not care for the Angry. Birds Although there was movie. A, there was a season of Resident Evil. That's true. Oh, there was Ooh, that. That was. There's been a couple more to call oh, that movie. The Resident Evil show. Terrible if you enjoy the games. Otherwise, I thought it was pretty decent. Um, it was not faithful to the games at all. Like, Last wow. of Us is pretty faithful to the games. Yeah. Don't League they have Legends a, has a game. Ar- oh, don't Ar- they have a Silent Hill. Arcane is good. Don't they have a Arcane's Silent Hill good. movie and game? What? Silent Hill. Don't they have a game and a movie? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think Silent Hill ended up getting a movie. Oh, Isn't there that was Pyramid Head from Dead by Yeah, Day? yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, there was Detective Pikachu. I never saw that. I liked it. I heard that was it was good. good. It was solid. Go? I've never seen that like on shelves. Yeah, I've heard that went really bad in the box office. Uh, but but um, a lot of people liked it. People that watched right. it liked it, but it just didn't sell. Which I it didn't wasn't Which, super intriguing. Yeah. But I liked watching it. There was but that, I didn't watch it until after. Um, there was that uh, Rampage Ryan movie. Ryan Reynolds was yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's um the guy the guy that was his trainer. He's becoming a pretty big actor. He was also in like Jurassic World. I don't know oh, his name on the top of my head. Yeah, I know. I know you're um, I'm looking yeah, at video um, game movies. A lot of them have below fifty percent Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, they're not. Um, yeah, they're but not most of them are. Awesome. That's like a. It's like a well-known thing that most of them are bad. But, but the, the Last of Us is changing that though. Like it's yeah. been huge. Yeah, there was. I feel like um, Sonic was really good for that oh, too. There was a bunch mm-hmm. of Resident Evil movies. Oh yeah. Yeah, those, those came out in uh, mid two. The thing is, they're all going to start being good here pretty soon. Yeah, because it's yeah. becoming mainstream. People oh, there was care that about Warcraft it. movie. I never saw that. That was good. Was it good? Yeah. I never the, saw the, um, World of Warcraft. So they, it's it's all about the people that make the games and and, and make the movies because it's about having a relationship with like the, the developer. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like the, most of the time, people oh. make shows and they won't even like play the game or yeah. know anything so about the, it. The guy, yeah, it's just a money thing. And, exactly. And the guy directing The Last of Us, um, he calls up the person who like made the game. Yeah, he and, and he was like, "Listen, um, this is this is." They all, I did like a little look inside the episode after all of them. If you like wanted to watch it, mm-hmm. and um, when you whenever you play the game, you're gonna, there's gonna be this pair of brothers, an older one and a younger one. In the game, the younger one is not deaf. In the show, he is, and because like, the entire point is like the younger brother just completely relies on the older brother. Yeah, like it's like it added some. The younger brother's only been alive during the apocalypse. This is the only mm-hmm. life he knows. Yeah, so he doesn't really know how to survive on his own. So the show director calls him up and is like hey what if we made him deaf that way it's like one more thing and it, it honestly some it made it so much better mm-hmm. like they did such a yeah. good job with that actually, and it was all about like, a lot of the movies actually below 20 percent rotten tomatoes and it was angelina jolie who played the who played lara croft yeah. in the tomb raider movies that's right i'm yeah. um, also looking at a lot of the covers it's a lot of um like um 
terrible covers. Werewolves. Angel Mickey Mouse Birds, is Sonic. going to public domain here pretty soon. I don't know. So Sonic. if you I'm worried look, about it, if you look at copyright law, every single time Disney's about to lose Mickey Mouse, the copyright law changes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, another thing is Mortal Kombat. I just saw it on Amazon. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's just a Mortal bad Kombat. Movie. There was, you know, you know what was our exceptionally bad movie was the horror movie about Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I didn't wow. see that. Yeah. I heard, that I, I heard a lot about it. That was yeah. It's about Winnie the Pooh. And he just like tries to kill a bunch of people. Okay. Awesome. Well, what about this? What about the? I don't even know if you guys are gonna have much of an opinion on this. But what about the best books that turn into movies? The Martian. The Martian. The Martian. The um, Martian. That's. Martian's a good movie. I liked Ready Player One as a book better. It was, oh, it was yeah. also incredible so, as a movie, though. I Ready Player One movie is, is phenomenal, but if you read the book first, it, it won't be as good. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I read, the, I read the book first, and I was like, I yeah. really thought it was going to be like a lot better, but I mean, it was still an exceptionally yeah. good movie. I was like, dang, that, I think I, uh, I still watched the, it. Like, the Martian might be, might be the best pick. Right, I'm just going <laughs> to, one of my favorite books. No Country for Man? No. Uh, that's, that's a good one. Though. I don't know yeah. if that's, I was gonna say that, that's like the example. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a good movie. It's a good I don't movie. know if I watch a movie right now if I would like this is a good movie, but Ender's Game. Oh, is a we were talking movie. about it. Yes. And a great. From what I remember, it's a great movie. Um, a lot of people didn't like the movie, but I enjoyed it so I, much. I like Plot it. wise, the movie was kind of missing a lot, but like everything else yeah. about it was like yeah, super. It was just good. great to watch. Exactly. Um, and and no movie has really done anything like nothing, that. Nothing kinda. like it. So oh, like, Lord, of, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I was like, bring him yes. Yes. Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, now we're just opening up the whole thing. Yeah, so, so No Country for Old Men is like, I think it's the example. It's like, it's the, like one of the, it's like talked about was one of the better books of all time and is one of the better movies of all time. To Kill a Mockingbird. He's got a great story. Like the because best story ever. That, the To Kill a Mockingbird movie was actually pretty, that was good. pretty good. The, the villain, um, Shigur. Best mm. one of the best villains ever. He, he cause the way he's portrayed on screen is just like he is supposed to embody like being completely like insane. Yeah. And I experts in like psychology are like this is the best representation we've ever seen of somebody who's yeah. like actually crazy. Cause like the entire movie is just tense. Like you're you're never relaxed during the movie. It's so good and the book. That's, that's when a movie when a movie makes you like tense the entire like waiting to see what happens, the entire movie it's a good movie. Um, yeah. Nope. That she girls nope. Like, was good at that. Nope was a real just, good movie. Evil, he relies a lot on fate. Yeah, like he he's like it's the deliverer book. of fate almost. Yeah. yeah, but you know who does it better? The Joker. We're gonna have to sign this out here because uh... he doesn't do it better. I disagree. <laughs> um, we do. Yeah, Martian, the Martian book and the Martian movie are great. The audio book is also phenomenal. I just picked a random crazy. The Joker actually is really good. No, the Joker, uh, he plays Joker is he's very good. But, no, but, dude, no one can talk to okay, him. Okay, but one last thing before. Is Shigur, like, he would legitimately, like, flip a coin to see whether or not he killed you. And yeah. he would just honor it. And he wouldn't kill you with, like, a gun. He had this thing that they used to stun cattle before they... Mm -hmm before they kill them, and he would just put it to your forehead. And he promised at like the start of the book that he'd like kill this girl if like if like he found her husband, or if he or if she didn't tell him where her husband was and he found him, I like, regardless. And at the end of the book, like he, he finds a husband and kills him. And he was like, I promised. Like he's like, I don't want to kill you. Let me be very clear, but like, I promised I would. Yeah. So now I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Um Bullet Train's a good movie too. Uh, that's not I don't think that's one of the best of book. <laughs> Bullet Train is a fantastic like movie. One. But I do apologize. We're going to have to wrap it up for the end of the day. Uh, I hope you guys can keep track of the 800 different medias we brought up today. Yep. Uh, but now you know our opinion on basically everything in Hollywood. If you guys have your own opinions on any of these, leave them in the comments. Speaking section. of everything in Hollywood, everything everywhere all at once, congratulations to the actor Good in that because he won something on the Oscar. Nice. Uh, yeah, actually, they basically swept the Oscars. It's, but, that's, uh, it's a phenomenal movie. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Send it. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, leave it in the comment section. Below, yeah. and we'll see you guys next week. Yep.